How do you kind of, uh, you know, decide what's crazy, what's true, what's, what's, you know, kind of good risk, you know, from a, from a coaching perspective, when you, when you think about either that example or others, when, when you are working with people that have a vision for something that, that might seem, you know, unrealistic or, or odd or weird or, you know, too big or whatever, something, you know, how do you decide to, um, allow for that and, or, you know, talk sense into that, you know, what, what is your kind of methodology for that? Yeah, that's a good one. And it is as varied as you, myself, Derp, Dub, and on and on it goes. Mm -hmm. So there's not a one size, oh, I do this. Um, The key to all that, if you're going to be a a coach, a builder, a mentor, is uh, you got to know the person that you're working with. You got to know what they're about. And you, it's a total vibe, feeling, gut check, Mm -hmm. not a formula. Mm -hmm. And so I looked at you, I saw you, I'd known you, we'd worked, but the look on your face there versus the look on the face, your face at the place we were overpaying Mm -hmm. told me, let's do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't see it, but you do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) So it's, it's, it's a kind of an energetic thing. And and part of the reason I'm asking, you know, is also there's a a curiosity because I I think it's kind of the same for me. Yeah. Right. And like your coaching to me would probably be, well, what's your instinct, you know, because that's probably the right answer, right? right? Most of the time, right? Now, I think there's probably a way to develop instincts, right? You know, you, you talk about kind of the best way to, to, to get a strong gut instinct is to do a lot of sit-ups, right? Like a lot of repetition core work. You know, you, you, if you have a strong core, if you're clear about who you are and what you're doing and all the other things that we've talked about, then it's a lot easier to trust your instincts. Your instincts are most likely going to be better, right? A hundred percent. And, okay, so, and so here's why I trusted your instincts with regard to picking a space. And there's certain clients who are trying to get into a new space that I would caution much more and let me just kind of walk through that. Mm-hmm. And I think you and I have talked about this. I don't know if we talked about it on the podcast. So forgive me, listener, if I'm repeating myself. But remember, we need a lot of repetition. <laughs> what is instinct? My belief is for humans, it's informed attention. So we always talk about a mother's instinct. You know, like, I don't know about you, but my mom looked me in the eyes and said, you're sick, go back to bed. (laughs) And she was right. I was Mm -hmm. trying to go do what I wanted and I was sick. Mm -hmm. And she was right. And I would have to, I can't go play basketball today. I really am sick. I was trying to fake it. Mm -hmm. But she could look in my eyes and say, Chester, you're sick. Get back, go to bed. She she would put her lips to my forehead and confirm it and go, you have a fever. Okay, you're Mm -hmm. not doing that. Then there would be those days when I didn't want to go to school. And I'm going to try to look sick, mm-hmm. faking it, you know what I mean? <laughs> and she would look at me, put the little lips on my forehead and say, um, get your bags, you're going to school. <laughs> and we hear that about mothers all the time. Like mm-hmm. mothers have this sixth sense about just their kids and what's going on and how to do what and how to know when to go into that raging house that's on fire with mm-hmm. the instinct of how they can get in and out with the baby. And we just go, well, that's a mother's intuition. And the reality is that the truth of that is it's informed attention. You see, mothers have been studying their opus, their children, like their life depends on them. 